the breakdown of the recovered weapons and ammunition as the armed forces of Nigeria conducted synchronized strikes between the ground and air forces in terrorist enclaves and hideouts. Troops conducted ambushes, raids, fighting patrols and other forms of offensive against terrorists. The combination of this offensive posture resulted in over 14 neutralized terrorists, 191 arrests. Troops then recovered 72 assaulted weapons, 338 assaulted ammunition. Director of Defense Media Operations, Major General Edward Buba, said this at the media briefing in Abuja. Attacks on the terrorist enclaves and strongholds. These attacks are aimed at eliminating the leadership and the foot soldiers of these terror groups. Troops will continue to go after the terrorists and we will continue to apply military pressure to destroy and their cohorts wherever they may be across the country. The armed forces conducted synchronized strikes between the ground and air forces on terrorist enclaves and hideouts across the country. Now, in carrying out these strikes, immediately upon acquisition of vital targets, our fighter jets are scrambled to conduct major bombing raids on significant terror enclaves. Additionally, troops conducted ambushes, raids, fighting patrols, and other forms of offensive activities against the terrorists during the week on the review. The combination of this offensive posture resulted in over 40 neutralized terrorists and 191 of them arrested. Troops then recovered 72 assorted weapons as well as over 330 assorted ammunition. Troops also arrested 68 perpetrators of oil tanks and rescued 80 kidnapped hostages. In the South-South, troops denied the oil tax of the estimated sum of over 480 million naira. The breakdown of the recovered weapons and ammunition as follows. We recovered 20 AK-47 rifles, 6 FN rifles, 165 rounds of 7.62 millimeter NATO and over 100 rounds of 7.62 millimeter special ammunition among other troops operating in the Niger Delta area destroyed 23 dugout pits, 13 boats, 99 storage tanks, two motorcycles, and 13 vehicles. Other items recovered include 135 cooking ovens and 68 illegal refining sites. Troops in the course of operation during the week recovered over 460,000 liters of stolen crude oil. Troops also recovered over 250,000 liters of illegally refined AGO, otherwise known as diesel. Troops recovered over 3,000 liters of DPK, otherwise known as kerosene, as well as over 10,000 liters of PMS 
Hoplali nu. As the true. Now, let us take on the operations across the country, beginning with the northeast, where we have Operation Hadden K. Troops of Operation Hadden K conducted fighting patrols to terrorist enclave in Goza, local government area of Bruno State. Troops then arrested terrorist collaborators in Gujba, local government area of Yobe State. Overall, troops of Operation Udoka neutralized three combatants, arrested nine suspected indigenous people of Biafra and their Eastern Security Network criminals, and rescued two in a hostage. The goal of the ongoing operation is to destroy the terrorists and their cohorts across the country. While we draw into their hideouts, as you can see them, we draw in there to their hideout, we allow them to assemble there after the strike. These are precision airstrikes. This was in Kudiri Forest. Now, the component of Operation Hadim Indagi conducted air interdiction on terrorist enclave at Alaji Medawa's enclave. That's Alaji Medawa's enclave that you're watching on the screen. The location was observed to be active with terrorist activities after the strike. You can see the terrorists, they are moving and scrambling to hide themselves. The next, so we call it Rabe's Enclave in Kankara local government area of Katina State. The location was observed to be active in terrorist activities, as you can see. Then the strike. The armed forces of Nigeria is determined to end terrorism and insecurity across the country. Troops are strategically deployed to conduct operations across the country in order to create a safe environment for citizens to go about their lawful duties and activities. The Nigerian troops will continue to go after these terrorists and apply military pressure to destroy them and their cohorts across the country. Olayemi Esso, for Spy TV.